Hi friends, happy to see you here again. I have an interactive card for you today and it's an extended shadow box card. A card I've never made before. So let's get started. I already die cut a few pieces out of mermaid cardstock from Lawn Fawn. So I have that uh, main shadow box piece uh, two times. And then from the ocean add-on, I have three, uh, or no, two, sorry, two wavy borders. And then I die cut the scalloped window from that same ocean add-on out of one of the main shadow box pieces. Now I did want to add something extra to the background inside that uh, shadow box. So I took out that light teal paper out of the Watercolor Wishes collection pack from Lawn Fawn. Um, I already cut it at the same size as the shadow box, so it would fit in perfectly. Then I have two Distress uh, ink colors here for my ink blending. Uh, it's the Peacock Feathers and the Blueprint Sketch. I like to start from a somewhat colored cardstock sometimes, just because that really, uh, you know, it takes the pressure out of the ink blending, uh, because you don't have to put so much effort into it. Um, and I kind of want to make it look like the bottom of the ocean. So the darkest blue will be on the bottom and it will kind of fade into that light teal color from that patterned paper. Now it does need a little bit of texture, so I sprayed a bit of water onto that paper and I blotted it off with a paper towel. I also put a little bit of color on the top of those uh, wavy borders. I just used peacock feathers for this. Uh, you don't need to put that extra color on, but I just really like the way it looks and I also really love <laughs> uh, the ink blending itself. When all the ink blending is done, I can assemble the shadow box itself. And I used some really strong score tape for this. Um, I'm putting a piece on uh, all the different flaps, uh, pressing it down firmly and then butting the two main pieces up to each other uh, so it becomes one long piece. And then I glue down my ink blended little panel on the back panel of the box. Before closing the box, I always like to add in my borders as well. So again, on those uh, teeny tiny flaps, I put some score tape. Um, I removed the liner paper from one of those sides and adhered both of the borders into the box. I always check one more time uh, that it's on the right uh, panel. Um, these borders should be adhered on the side panels. Uh, so doing this for both of the borders and then I'm placing those borders down to that uh, left side, releasing the liner paper, then taking that side panel of the box and closing it on top of the borders. Then removing the other liner tape and closing the whole box just like a book. It's really super, super easy to do. I like to fold the box a few times to each side just to make the mechanism a little bit uh, smoother. I want, it to, uh, I want it to fold nicely since I will be adding the box to the inside of a cart. Speaking of that card, I have a card base here made of mermaid cardstock that's 11 by uh, 2 and 3 quarters and I'm folding it at 5 and a half. So you have the same width of a standard card but it's not as tall. Um, the height is exactly the same as the height of the shadow box. Here I'm taking two little panels of that light teal watercolor wishes paper again. Uh, the height is the same as the shadow box, so two and three quarters, and I made it so that it just butts up against the shadow box, but you will see it uh, in a bit. Now, of course, I wanted everything to match nicely, so I did some ink blending on those two panels as well. 
Um, I did the exact same thing as I did before, so blending with the blueprint sketch and peacock feathers to get that uh, ocean feel. And since these panels are so so small, it doesn't take that much time at all. It's time to adhere everything to the inside of the card base and I'm starting with the shadow box. Taking that same strong score tape and putting lots of it on the back of the shadow box card uh, and on the uh, left side as well. Then uh, after peeling off um, the liner paper I am pressing the back of the box firmly inside that card base. The left side of the shadow box butts up against that score line from the card base. It's very important to press down firmly so everything is adhered very well. Checking if everything's okay and then pressing the box flat, removing that liner uh, paper again, but now from the side panel of the box and pressing down the card base. So now my box is adhered inside of the cards. Now I can uh, also add those two little ink blending panels, uh, putting adhesive on the back of both of them with my uh, Gina K tape runner and putting it inside the card as well. Now we also have some work to do for the front of the card. So I die cut a border with one of the stitched hillside borders from Lanfon again out of Bristol Smooth cardstock, just because I will be doing some ink blending here as well. This piece of cardstock is five and a half wide, so it will fit the front of the card perfectly. For the background, I chose that beautiful yellow patterned paper from the Pin Sized Patterns Summertime Paper Pack. <laughs> That's really a mouthful. <laughs> so uh, five and a half by two and three quarters tall. First gluing on that patterned paper on the uh, mermaid card base. And then I can do some ink blending on my border as well. I debated a lot about what I wanted on the front, a little bit of sand uh, or some water, but I eventually went with the water just because I think it coordinates better with the inside. So you'll see a critter relaxing on the water and when you open the card you'll see all the beautiful creatures in the ocean. Now for that border I have peacock feathers and mermaid lagoon. Um, I really love Mermaid Lagoon. I think it's such a beautiful blue color. I also splattered on some water and then this uh, border was all done. So I could adhere it on the front of the card as well. I did use uh, some liquid glue for this just be gives, because it uh, gives me a little bit of wiggle room uh, just to make sure that everything is adhered nicely. So here you can already see the card in action. I think it's starting to come together now. Um, it will be super super cute in the end. For my images, I mixed and matched a few lawn font stamp sets. So there's the pool party for the front of the card, then the mermaid for you, and the ocean shelfie. And then, of course, uh, that cute little narwhal. I mean, how adorable is he? <laughs> I really love this mini stamp set. I stamped all my images in Versafine Onyx Black Ink on Bristol Smooth cardstock. I colored them all with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Um, I didn't include the coloring in the video, but you can check out all the colors in the description box below. Now, if you want to use Ziggs or any other kind of watercolor markers, um, I really recommend using the Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, and also, it's important uh, that you use the right kind of ink for this. Um, so the VersaFine Onyx blank, Black ink really stamps perfectly for this. 
And now I am finally adding all these cute images to the cards. Um, important to note here is that I adhered everything that had to be inside the cards flat. So I used liquid glue for this. Uh, you don't want any bulk inside of that card or it won't close properly. Um, and then I'm doing the front of the card here as well. Again, gluing down everything flat. Uh, normally I would use foam squares here for dimension because you know that always gives a little bit of extra something to the card. Uh, but since it will be a thicker card, I'm just adhering it down flat so I can still nail it uh, properly. I finished by decorating the inside of the shadow box and that little narwhal just had to be the star of the show. I'm so sorry if you don't see it properly, but it's kind of hard <laughs> uh, to do this on camera. I'm just playing with it a little bit. I could do this all day. <laughs> just love uh, opening and closing the cards to see all that cuteness. Look at how adorable that narwhal is. <laughs> Although um, the front of the card has that little sentiment, uh, I did want to add an additional one uh, to the inside. So I went for the Happy Summer from the Pool Party stamp set and I stamped it in uh, the same VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Then I used a little banner and my little paper trimmer to cut it out perfectly. And so it does fit uh, nicely on the top of the shadow box. I did this out of the same mermaid cardstock as I used before, so everything coordinates really well, I think. And this finishes off the card for today. I am really happy with it. I didn't make one of these before and it really wasn't hard to do, just one step at a time. Now I will be giving this one to a colleague before summer break. Have a great day, friends. Bye.